we're going to start with Anthony Dasher, and then we're going to go to Chip Tower. Hey, Jabri, congratulations on the win. Uh, obviously, Jalen Jenny, good night. I know it's a is a is a tough one. Just can you just speak to how you guys just kept you know fighting and you know responded to what he happened to him and just kept playing basketball? How tough is that? I guess number one is on basket. And that's really tough. Um, you know, when you see, like Jackson said, when you see an injury like that, like a non-contact injury, you can't help but think the worst. Um, we try to stay positive, but, you know, when something like that happens, especially to someone who I consider a really close friend, um, one of our brothers, um, a leader on our team, um, and just a really, really good player and a really good person, you never want to see that stuff happen. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's hard um, to keep playing. You know, you're, you're thinking about him um, while you're trying to think about the game, and that's difficult. But I thought we did a good job responding. Um, you know, guys came in and, and stepped up and, and made some really big plays. Jackson, Braylon, Aaron, Cario. Um, so, um, I mean, yeah, it was it was just tough. You never want to see that happen, especially to one of your brothers. But I thought we did a good job um, staying focused. And I'm praying for him. Everybody's praying for him. Jalen, two in a way. Uh, excuse me, uh, Jabari, two in a way, uh, two in a row for you guys. Uh, and your shots obviously heated up pretty good here. Are you? Uh, would you would you rather not have eleven days in a row off? Would you rather keep on playing, or uh, can y'all make good use of this time? Um, yeah, I mean, as somebody who loves to play, I'd rather just keep playing. I wish we had a game tomorrow. I'll play tomorrow, but uh, <laughs> I think you know we we go we're gonna um, get some well needed rest, and and we're gonna get a lot of practice time in and some individual work, and that's always good. Um, you know, we need some time to focus on our academics and stuff. So there are some positives to it, but. I mean, I would want I want to keep playing. I want to keep this momentum going. I think um, we're doing a good job and we're getting a lot better. So, um, yeah, it would be nice to keep playing, but the the rest and and we get a lot of practice time with the coaches and stuff is going to be good as well. Thank okay, you. next we're going to go to Lance McCurley and then Drew Beal. Hey, Jerry, uh Jackson said right before you that uh, this you know kind of six game eight game stretch at home is going to you know kind of could make or break y'all's uh, SEC. SEC schedule heading into it. Just your thoughts on that and, you know, how important obviously this break is, but, you know, if you want to, you know, kind of get back, you know, what are some things that y'all going to need to do, you know, moving forward uh, to kind of clean up some of these uh, things that y'all actually limited tonight? Yeah, um, I think like like you said, this home stretch, however many you said six or something like that, however many uh, games it is, is really important. Obviously every game is important, but this is crucial. Um, is going to give us, um, you know, momentum going into SEC play. Um, and then, you know, we don't want to lose at home. We don't want to lose in front of the fans. Um, you're starting to see more and more people come to the games and starting to get more support uh, around campus and things like that. So you want to play hard for them, for the people who come um, and show up. So that's why, really, you don't want to lose at home. And then, you know, obviously, we um, we, we just want to keep the momentum going. I think we're, we're getting a lot better. Um, and over these 11 days, we're going to keep working. And then, you know, when, when we get a chance to play again, I think on the 18th, we're going to be ready. So I think it's going to be really important. We just got to keep, you know, our mental shot. We got to keep focusing um, and just keep working hard over these 11 days and we're going to be fine. Hey, Jabri, um, this Jacksonville team came into this night uh, averaging over 10 steals a game, which is a lot, but they didn't record a single one in the first half and only finished the game with six, which is still well below their average. Can you talk a little bit about how you guys, you know, handled the pressure tonight? Yeah, we did a really good job starting with Aaron and Christian, um, our two main ball handlers. Um, did a really good job, you know, being poised, playing under control. Um, and we knew that was a focus. You know, we had – we over the last couple of games, we had a lot of live ball turnovers, right? And that's uh, something coach um, – the coaching staff really emphasizes, no live ball turnovers that, you know, can kind of give the other team momentum. And that's the other thing. I feel like we really controlled the momentum the entire game. Um, I felt like we were really in control. And I think a part of that was just um, our ability to – uh, take care of the ball. So, I mean, it, it started with guys like Aaron, Christian, uh, Cario, the, the primary ball handlers did a really good job of, of taking care of it. So that was good. Okay, we're going to finish off with Jared Smith. Hey, Jabri, kind of like they were talking about earlier, you've been really like picking it up from three lately. Um, and I noticed kind of when you hit three, like you were really, like getting the crowd involved, celebrating a little bit. How much does like the crowd kind of have an impact of you heating up or are you keeping confident and shooting from behind the arc? Yeah, I mean, like I said, um, you know, people come out and support, um, you know, we're starting to get a little uh, some notoriety around campus and, and at Athens and things like that. So, you know, when, when people take time out of the day to come support us, um, you know, it just makes you want to do good and makes you want to play really hard. And, um, you know, the crowd coming out, we really, really appreciate it. We feed off of it. Um, so, like I said, when we're at home, you know, we need that energy to keep us going. If the other team made a run or something like that, um, you know, the crowd getting involved really, really helps us. So, 
you know, if you hit a big shot, the crowd goes crazy. It's it's, it's kind of like a, a good feeling, you know, kind of the stuff you see as a kid and things like it's, it's, I don't know, it's always been a good feeling to kind of just get the crowd involved. And especially when people are showing up to support, it's a really good feeling. So, yeah.